Vietnam's most feared prison. The 1960s, deeply entrenched in war and unwilling to give it up for a loss, the U.S. unleashed daily airstrikes on North Vietnam. When a plane was shot down, pilots all too often found themselves in enemy hands. Of these captured servicemen, perhaps none met worse fates than those condemned to the Hua Lo prison, dubbed the Hanoi Hilton by American servicemen. It's got guard towers every about uh, 30 feet. And then it's on the top, it's got uh, bar bar. It's made out of concrete, and on top of the concrete, there was a lot of shards of uh, glass. Inside, the prison more closely resembled a modern-day dungeon. New inmates were routinely beaten and ordered to divulge military secrets. One such prisoner was future Senator John McCain, who returned to the prison 25 years after his release. In 1967, McCain was an American pilot. His plane was blown from the skies over Hanoi, resulting in critical injuries to both his arms and one leg. The young man would spend the next five years as a POW and know the pain of the Hanoi Hilton on a first-hand basis. When the North Vietnamese learned that he was the son of an admiral, they offered an early release, but he adhered to the prisoner's code of conduct and refused any preferential treatment. McCain and his fellow prisoners endured deplorable conditions, and many even contemplated suicide. But being kept under constant supervision by guards, even that escape was denied to prisoners. In 1973, the signing of the Paris Peace Accords called for the repatriation of all POWs. A total of 340 Americans had lingered between life and death within the walls of the Hua Lo prison. By some accounts, many had simply disappeared. For the survivors, the anguish of captivity followed them home, finally free from the Hanoi Hilton Vietnam's most feared prison.